It was a year and a half ago that we spoke to Chase Barber here in Merritt, who was going to take this 1962 logging truck and convert it into a hybrid electric vehicle with the idea that loggers could use it. Well, they put it all together and had a few problems with drive shafts and U-joints snapping, and now they've come up with a new generation and they're ready to show it to the world. We built it, we tested it, we found what worked, and we found what didn't work, more importantly. So we, after our testing, we went back to the drawing board and we designed this. And this is the version that we believe we could actually sell to customers. Right, and the main difference being that you had the electric motor at the front of that rig powering this drive shaft with all that power and it just kept snapping it? Yeah, the electric motor, that's one of the big advantages to electric is that there's super high torque, super high horsepower, but with that high torque and high horsepower, it kept snapping U-joints, snapping drive lines. So we needed to put those electric motors onto the axle. So we basically, with two axles, we divide the power of the electric motor in half and put one on each axle, and then it's reduced power, but more. Right. And so that's why there's these big nasty cables I see running right to the rear? Yeah, these are your high voltage lines. These are your drive line in an electric truck. This is what drives the truck. And then right to my left here, Nick, if you just pan left here, that's that, that puts the power right into the axle. Yeah, the electric motor is hooked right onto the axle. So you get direct power right at the wheels. Okay, so here we are, a uh, second generation uh, prototype. We'll be showing this thing off. And the idea being that a logging truck in particular can do well because you're going downhill loaded up, which you can suck up power that way, and it's light going up the hill. Yeah, exactly. That's why I've been arguing that electric makes the most sense for the logging industry in BC because you use the stored potential energy of the logs at the top of the hill, capture that energy going downhill with the regenerative braking to into the batteries, and then you use the batteries to go back up empty. And then you come down loaded again, recharging your batteries. It's the perfect application for electric right here. So if you just went up and down a hill with this thing, you probably wouldn't even need the uh, diesel generator component of this hybrid. No, there's already a place doing that up in Norway where they're up at the top of the hill going down and they've never had to recharge. So you're going to be showing this off at this um, event in Vancouver, this Electrify yeah. event, and you're going to be pretty, you know, showing off right at the front, you were saying? Yeah, they're fully charged, just putting us right at the front of this show. When you walk in, you're going to see this truck parked there with all the other electric semi-trucks, and it's... It's kind of a proud moment that in a year and a half, we were able to go from just an idea when I was talking to you last, like that was just a crazy idea, to building a truck, refining it, building a production truck, and being able to show it off with all the other OEMs. Right, and this didn't come cheap. The, the, what you're leaning on right now cost how much to put together? Oh, uh, well, over a million bucks. When you add up all that R&D and all that, yeah, we're well over a million bucks on this thing. And you were able to do that with um crowdfunding. crowdfunding yeah we we did it with crowdfunding i said the idea on social media and said hey if you want to chip in and we had over five thousand people the vast majority of which were all truckers so it all came from like small trucking companies the trucking community and it was started grassroots and they all pitched in either time or knowledge or money and we all came together and built this truck and i mean this is not just us. So far, we've had over 120 people actually help out and do this thing all from across BC and all loggers, mechanics, well, all from across Canada, really. So where does this end up? Do you end up having someone taking the idea and selling rigs set up like this as a package, or is it instead a kit that people would use to retrofit an existing truck? Which is it? Well, we wanted to do it as sell them as a complete package, assembled, ready to go, and we've lined up a few customers now that are gonna be trying the first five or six trucks out. So we're gonna build those trucks, get them into those customers' hands, those companies are going to try it out, tell us what works, tell us what doesn't work, tell us what we need to change before, and then we can go to the final sta stage of selling to the public. Right. So this is sort of the second version of it. You fully expect that there will be, be further improves for the next one. Yeah. It's you got to build 10 of anything before you get good at it. The first time you build something brand new, it sucks. The second one doesn't suck so much. The third one sucks even less. Yeah. Then four, five, six, all of a sudden we're tweaking minor details and doing minor changes. Like we've changed the system where we believe this is the system we need. 
but now it's going to be things like where do we actually want to mount our cables where is it going to be where is it going to reduce the wear and tear where are we seeing those points of failure how do we change those failures how do we get the most reliable truck out there and that's part of this next stage of so you've convinced enough people to crowd source your funding but do you have any sense whether the broader trucking uh community industry is looking at this they they are they the diesel electric the hybrid approach makes sense if you do full electric you can only convert about 10 percent of the trucks on the road today into electrics where they have the range and this is the well carl is technically the first but we have made the first two real pure diesel electric hybrid trucks in North America. And I, we can tackle that other 80% of the electrification that full electric does it. So I think it's the way it's gonna go. All right. So when should we check in with you next? What's the next benchmark? Another year and benchmark? a half. Another year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> we certainly will. I appreciate you telling us about oh. it today. Well, thanks for coming out and checking her out. Thank you.